too. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah I feel like hey. it. <laughs> virus. I got the virus. All right, uh, let's see. They put a new crank in here that's uh, been welded. And for some reason, it's 5,000 out over here, and it's supposed to be only, what, two, you said? And some dumbass just didn't take the last bolt out. I don't know who that would have been. So you got three guys. I forget who's going to be cameraman. Light on? Did you turn your light on already? Lights on. Mine's oh, okay. Over. He's doing good. <laughs> your zoom button right there. Oh, Don't worry, I did this the other for a few somebody hours. Somebody glued this damn thing, didn't they? The stock Harley sealant. Yeah, it was a five hitter right there. Yeah, what is that crappy white shit? What the hell's going on in that? I got a bunch of goo in there for some reason. Well, at least there's clearance and Tempkin. That's good. <laughs> Better than most of the guys. There's a lot of crap that came out there. That's all right. It's inside your mall. You're okay. Yeah, that's probably helpful, huh? I just cleaned my bench off, too, for you. Well, maybe I did it for myself. Those are called snot boogers. Do these have virus on them? <laughs> Last year was heavy really water around here. If I'm in the city, come by with the pressure washer blows all the sidewalks off. Look at that. Bums got sick again. <laughs> all right. So this is a later motor. At least a nine, right? Eleven. Right. Now I can tell. Got two screws there. Oh, to hold the bearing in place. That's how they did it. I used three when I used to do it. And I put double snap rings in there too, so it wouldn't move. So it doesn't move at all? It, it would have to break a snap ring free and move two, three right. screws. I, don't, I never had one move since I did that. Imagine that. Sounds like Keith Black Pistons and their stupid snap rings. Uh, the piston rings that won't get us? Poor thing. Poor thing. <laughs> sorry for you. <laughs> Bleeding already? Yep. Sweet, I just got here. He's already bleeding. Well, it's a previous injury there. It's right where I push a lot, though. It's getting pussy. Ooh, tastes good. <laughs> That's a cure for the for the fucking virus right there. Got <laughs> and solve it. Okay, are we on any snap rings or anything? Or gel pins? No. I haven't broken case yet doing this, but. Oh, that is tight. I like that. Yeah. Well, at least if he breaks this half. Oh no, that is the serialized half. That's the half I don't want to break. Oh, no. I can break the other half and not this half. I got another other half. <laughs> See, if you go like that, it's a little higher. So. I haven't made a block go in there yet for doing this. All right, take a break. We'll be back. Shut the camera. Now you're recording. Yeah. You record last time? We missed no? all the verbal abuse. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Do it I again. So sorry. <laughs> Repeat. Here you go, Junior. Sweet. It's got the Tempkin conversion on the inside. Did it come loose yet? No, oh, it didn't fall out. Amazing. Now they changed their hardware to Torx head now. Yeah. I think they still got the wrong screws. That means yeah, they those suck. The, right the gems. That's the first one I had didn't push out with a Tempkin. Fix the problem a little bit. Sure listen to me. You got a half well put together case? Yeah, any Harley from 1955 was made that way. You didn't have to remake it like you do with a new Harley. There's the welds right there. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try this. We used to have a 45 crank in here that's perfectly true. I got it to zero and two tenths in the 45 crank. Damn. I kept trying to get that two tenths out. I kept working on it for a while. Then I welded it. I wanted to weld it in three spots. I should have welded it in four. That way it works more evenly. Huh? It works more evenly. 
He was going for the trifecta. Works more evenly. Works. <laughs> What's this sound there? I want to go fast. I want to go fast. <laughs> Dude, I got that. And I was looking I was looking through and I was checking the run out. I was like, what the hell does that say? What's he got? Oh, dumbass wrote messages in there. Yeah. That's a sure sign of a good mechanic, right? You better do some stew off. Nice clunking. I like that clunking noise. Tapers weren't very good. Okay, so that's the treat within two, they said, huh? What you Originally have? it was at two. You got the light off, that's why. White button. There's a zoom in there, works a lot better. So you can go like this. All right. So you can, you can zoom in like this and piss everybody off. I can't see nothing! <laughs> now remember, when, when you like this view right here on TV, you're actually looking at this. Blown up. You're filming, it looks a lot different. See, when you film this, it looks like this on TV. Okay. So stand back. Stay back. Okay, so there's 2,000 of run out. How many lines is that? Each line's 2,000. I'm seeing more than two. It's like eight. I'm seeing more than one line. Holy shit. Is that three? Three so, lines? So which side's moving up three. and down further? So you got on the other side. But it's equally fucked up. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. It's equally uh, repaired. Yes. So three and three. <laughs> That's pretty close to two thou. Now, when they welded it, if they uh, if it moved on them when they welded it, it would probably have gone like this evenly. Right. Depending on where the weld is, it moved it last. Yeah. So the thing is, it's equal on both sides, so that means it's probably not true very good to begin with. I guess, but it definitely moves when you weld. Good. Okay, so right now we are pretty much at 90 degrees. We're you know, 180 from crank pin is where it's the highest. And see it's on both sides, it's equal. So that means we don't have any twist to it. We just have, it's just bent. So it's high. The needle goes that way, it gets high. So this is spread apart right here. So what you gotta do is you gotta squeeze them back together. Oh shit. So you got a squeezing tool? Um, you can use a vise. Oh, you got one right here. C clamp. You can use that. You want to use that? Will that move it? Not with the welds. <laughs> if it I've wasn't welded, I've been going to the gym recently. How strong are you? Actually, no, I got, that's why I got my brother in law. He goes to the gym when I do. <laughs> well, if he's putting over his head, he might help us, but we're not doing that. <laughs> you know, like this. Okay, who's going to tighten it more than me? Here. We go on this side. Oh, Mr. Mr. Big Strong Hands. Is this no. him? See? What are we at now? It's tight, isn't it? That's it, back in 2000s? <sighs> Just like that, look at that. <laughs> Here, I'm just some more, you help me? <laughs> Here, hold this. I'll record. Okay, how far out is it now? Way out. Oh, geez. Maybe it moved. Do you think it moved? <laughs> oh. Wheel it a bit. That was to give us some motivation to move. <laughs> oh boy. So the world did nothing. <laughs> they say you can't shoot 20 pound cranks too. I heard that before. Okay, do you think we moved it? Uh, I'm gonna hope we did. How much? Uh, I'm gonna say a thou. A thou. That means almost like nothing. Huh? Oh yeah, look at that. I think it got a little better. Oh, that's nice. Better in the right direction or better in the wrong direction? Um, I don't know. I can't see the other side. Oh, my bad. It appears to be high right there. Same spot. About the same spot. So. So we want we don't want the needle to move at all, right? Correct. We took out about half that we had. Sweet. So if you're only four thou out, we'd have perfect right now. Yeah. As long as you're eight thou out, so it's not perfect. So I wonder why it was better in the case than it was out of the case. Because they're not the same. All right. 
Oops, she's glad we're going fast. I got that same dirty motor over there. All right, I'm gonna hold this case real quick. You wanna hold this? Oh, do I that still? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I gotta do all the work. <clears throat> there, don't do that. I wonder what it moved to now. Nothing. Is that mine? Yeah, it came out the bottom. I probably fixed it. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I doubt they even moved it. It's too tall. I got oil on my hand. A little nick? No, I don't know. Jesus. How much you want to go? It's four tons. Four tons? Four tons. Did it move? It better have. <laughs> there's no way that fucking the little C, the little C clamp. That's about how much the C clamp had on it. Yeah, that's about how much pressure we have. All right. It's one of these. Put it in the bottom. Oh yeah, probably at the bottom. Did you screw up the bottom already? Yeah. Look at that. What? You got the ring off the bottom. Good ring. That goes on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose that. <laughs> We're gonna need that. <laughs> We're gonna need that. We're gonna lose that thing. Okay, we greased up our taper so it won't be so shitty if you want. I guess we'll find out. Which one do you think? Think it moved? I'm gonna bet it moved, yeah. How much and where? I don't know, four tons is a lot of weight on it. I'm gonna say it's gonna be right at two now. That's one and a half of his girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how you got glue down here in the road. There you go. That should help it, right? Mm -hmm. Make it stick better. Well, now it's out of balance because you got that glue down there. <laughs> Jesus. Hell That's yeah. way better. America. <laughs> Done two there, but we're still out on this other side. Yeah. Alright, so we're doing good here, but over here we got a little bit of movement. Well, we went too far though, see? It's high here now. But the bad part is this one's high over here, so now we have a twist in here. Twists are harder to get out. So do we just send it at this point? So there's a <laughs> twist right there. So we need to push on it right here. Right where this up. red mark is, perfect. Oh, 90 degrees, yeah. So we got about three thou over there probably. So you ready to go home at this point? Is that what you're saying? You want to shake and vibrate and be a piece of crap? I don't know, that's not my bike. So there you go, that's a good excuse. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that, pal. <laughs> hey, it's a lot better than what it was when it got here. <laughs> I can say that about everybody's bike. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to fix this? Uh, one way. Throw it away. That's it. Go Just like that. It and it's fixed. <laughs> you want the downstairs? Go get another one. That'll work. I bet you there's some laying around here. Oh look, somewhere under there. It's got a bad rod in it. <laughs> Which one came cranks? You want to see what a bad rod looks like? Pull that one out. Let me see grab it real quick, Justin. That ain't shit. What's wrong with that crank? Told me being a low mileage good crank. That's a low mileage crank? Low mileage good crank. That's what it's sold to you guys. The sleeves are gone out of the rod ends. What sleeves? Oh, there's supposed to be sleeves in there? On well, the newer cranks. Oh, that's an... <clears throat> That was too much money for Harley Dude out, so you made them. What's wrong with that crank? What do you see wrong with this? I don't know, let me see. Um, 
narrowed down to center rods. So what do you see wrong with it? That gap? The fact that it's got probably got play go side to side? No. No? That's smoke it or scorched right there? I don't know. They're induction hard and cheap ass rods. That's how Harley does it. That rod looks bent. No. It's got like a slight slight turn. No? No. What is wrong? The blue wing down there? No. That's how the induction hardened. They're crap. Okay. They're not heat treated, they're just shitty. I don't know. I can't figure it out. They got clearance for a little bit. Not much. This one's very little. So, what you do is you take your crank, you feel for any binding or tight spots, which mm -hmm. these don't have, that you can feel. So, then you move it side to side. See how that rod moves? Oh. See how that rod moves nice and free? Yeah. That means it's not. It's not, uh, it didn't go oblong like this from over revving it. Okay. So it didn't pinch the bearings. So this one's nice and free, that's good. It's not real loose, so it's not gone yet. Okay, this one over here, you can't move it, see? The rod bearing. So you can't move it? Mm hmm. It will not move side to side. This one does. This one's fixed. Because right now it's oval shaped, it's pinching the bearings really hard. So the next thing it's going to do, it's going to get loose. Because the bearings are going to fail, on it, or the rod's going to fail, actually. Because there's no clearance in it. That's why it's tight, like up here. But it's not so bad that you can feel going notch, 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 like a tight fork would be. Gotcha. You don't have that feel to it. But it won't move. So it's going to fail because it's junk. So even though it all looks good, it won't last for long. Wow. Mm -hmm. you know, there might be a couple thousand miles left in it. There might be 10,000 miles. We don't know, but it's going to And fail. this is a... But it's a ticking time bomb that could go at any time, basically. Correct. So you got to take it apart, pulling the rod back around, put it back together. That's an M8 cylinder? That's M8. There's an Jesus. M8 crank? No. Oh, funky crank. That was crack going in the pink motor up here. Okay. Look how thick that sleeve is. That's why they're able to go so big on these. Look how big the bolt pattern is. Fuck. You can go a half inch bigger bore, no problem. Let's take out, you can go out, you can go out three quarter inch bigger bore. Make this bad boy 160. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. There's a kid out Jesus. There on the, the 151 uh, leading edge. Yeah, they made the motor big enough. I don't know if the cases are big enough, but the motor Bolt pattern wise, it is. What'd you do with the crank? Oh shit, somebody lost it. They're in your bucket. The trash. The trash, yeah. Somebody lost it. Oh, where was the tight spot at? 90 degrees from the other one. 90 degrees from the other one on the red spot, right? Yeah. Where's yeah, we spot? say where those red spots at. Where's that red spot at? They don't like red. Red's no good. I don't see no red anywhere. Uh, you lying to me? Which, which side was? Is this how it was? Is there a red marker over there? You know where somebody came all over it in here? Hmm. Yeah, it was like right here. You don't want to sell the red. That was the red mark. There it is. The red paint, orange paint, whatever. It's a good thing I know where it's 90 degrees. So you don't have the right tools. Is it like three tons? To reset <laughs> No, two. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I see move. That, that was it. That's the. Did it that move? was a little. A little hit it needed right there. Did it move? Oh, yeah. This is it. Shoot these pieces of crap. Job done. Less than an hour. Crank fixed. You're my favorite piece of crap to work on. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Someone made a comment I wasn't supposed to make comments about shit I didn't like. <clears throat> Alright, so it just has a little bit of movement now. A wee start. little bit. Is it enough for your little SNS cam chest now? I don't think it moved. <laughs> you don't think it moved? No, it didn't move. Oh. Well, I was hoping to be enough pressure, but nope. So, would it be easier to, to correct it if it wasn't welded? Yes, that would help. There's drama shit right there. He's at 5,000. Yeah, here's a 5,000 cent case right now. You stand back there in the way? Yeah, this thing just took me out. Okay, 
we need to get it to move a little bit. It's too much. So at some point it's going to flip on us. And it's trying to break my, uh, trying to bend my shaft over. It's trying to Oh boy. What would you call that thing? Beat the fucking tar out of it. There. Beat stick. Thor has a hammer, Tatro has a beat stick. <laughs> That's my little body hammer. I do body work with it. You know what? Fender's move when you hit it. <laughs> Precision adjusting tool. It works for customers too. <laughs> Get out of line. Here, hold this for a second. <laughs> He's got a whole big wheel back here. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Well, it's almost, it's almost not yeah, moving. Ain't perfect. Like, how much? You can get it better. How, how many thousand is that? Like, let me see. It's like maybe a th it's two. Two? Three on this side, but that's not good. So we came here at five. What well, we came here at six or five? It's five. Moved, it's moved off center. It was five in the case. He said it was eight out of the case. So originally it was five in the case, eight out of the case. Now we're at two on one side. The twist moved. The twist moved back to square again. See, so there's a high spot right here. Crank pins up here. So this side over here. That's where it's moving. It's another back in line again. So now we got to squeeze it over here on this side. We need more on this side here than on this side. Hmm. The only problem is you can't really control where it's yeah. going to move. All right. Look what you do to my tool if you dump it. And we need to get in there and file on those now. Yeah. Uh, make them. We can straighten, straighten those out before he goes. Yeah. You gotta fix what you break around right here. I'll take a file to him. What'd you say? I said I'll take a file to him. <laughs> okay, where's my bad spot at? Crank it in here. I'm on the wrong side of the vehicle right now, so it needs to be. It was on this side here. Thanks. So I need to be over here. Push on on this side right over there. I feel like if we get no movement after this, he's gonna buy. He's gonna buy his pizza. You agree? <laughs> <laughs> now when you hit with a hammer, how much pressure does that add? Whatever that weighs. Times the amount of force, swing. Depending on whether or not you use your hips to thrust or not. By the vector of thrust angle. Yeah, vector of thrust angle. Sound like a pilot now, huh? <laughs> no, pilots are stupid. Pilots <laughs> break. Shit about their pilots break planes and mechanics fix them. Point and shoot. <laughs> College education to fly them. High school education to fix them. Yeah. We're back out over here. It moved. Oh boy. On the right side. You didn't like the fact that I said pizza. It moved just not how we wanted it to. Yeah. You did fine. I'm alright with that. I like overbending. That's good. Overbending is the best thing you can do. We're back on center though. So it's out at the same spot again now. When you overbend, you can bring it back pretty easy. And it's more of a neutral spot at that point. Because you have that spring back. You right. get the spring back to spring back where you want it to be. Okay. Not, don't put it where you want it, and as soon as you put a stress on it, it goes back to where you don't want it to be. So you're putting more on it to... So you want to overbend it, and then come back a little bit. Because it takes everything else out, and then you just have that one spot to work with. Yeah, well, okay. Hopefully it goes back to a sweet spot is where you want it to be, which isn't in the middle. It's true. So you want to overbend it. Let me get one over there. These are weak ass shafts, you gotta be careful about 
screwing these tapers up. Can't get too carried away with hitting the crank. It's not like an old bike. <laughs> you can wail on it. It doesn't matter. Looks like it came back out of the left side a little bit. Not too far. It's an hour high down here. See how we did it. Didn't take much. See, it comes back pretty quickly. This where you overdo it. Squeeze it a little bit. And the clamp in. The welding actually makes it easier to bend because it loses some of the press in the bottom. This thing's getting heavy for some reason. Harley Techs haven't told me I'm doing it wrong yet. Oh, online? Well, the actually, they said I destroyed the crank when I, when I hit on my hammer. <laughs> so, are you going to put that thing back in your bike? You're crazy. Jeez. Can't get that side out. That right side came back? Right side's good. I just can't get the left oh. to be correct. The left does not want to be correct. This one's almost in, but... Over here is our problem. It's on this side. So, jam that in there. Give it a little love tap there. You like my love? We a little bit. Down one or two on that side now. We had one on this side. This side's not moving. That helped a little bit on that side, I think. This is hard on the taper. We're I want to get paid to beat things. On this thing. You want to beat on stuff? That was it right there. That was the money, money shot. shot. That was the money shot. Hits you right in the joint. Makes it hurt for a few days when you do that. It's just like taking a hammer and going like that on your joint. Every you know, time you do that. Oh, well, that's not good. You wish you had one of those rubber protectors on here. I think they call those condoms. <laughs> Not enough force. So how are we gonna do that? Uh, yeah. Ninety degrees from the pen. No, we're straight. Twisting it, we need to twist it at the crank pin. <laughs> because of the welds. Well, it's, no, because that's the strongest way of the crank. Oh, okay. You can't twist it side to side. We're twisting and going through the crank pin itself. Right. And that's built in. That doesn't square up very easily. Basically, at all, it doesn't do it. Six times, but... Wake up a little bit. 
Yeah, I'll get a lot of comments about this. Huh? I'll get some more nice comments about this. He's gone mad. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna hurt my feelings too. Yeah, not doing much for me, but a little better. All right, that's it. So see how this one's basically not moving anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's about as good as we're gonna get it. And this one over here, we're about three quarters of a line. So, so and a half. To maybe a maximum of one line, so it's probably about one and three quarter on this side. This side over here is within two tenths. It's kind of twitching slightly. A little bit. Let's get you. So the 45 crank I did last night, I had the left side look like that and the right side didn't move. Gotcha. And I was trying to get that out. I couldn't get that out two tenths out. Kept working on it. How long you on need for? Um, I go pick up my DD214. Uh, oh, you're out. You're out. Okay. You've been on terminal. Kind of. <laughs> After the 19th, I go on terminal for like two weeks. Look this little thing. Those old two Mario's best CD heads. Do you guys want to bring the... In?